All right, so this is going to be an, uh, an experiment and a demonstration of what I was able to discover as a workaround for being able to get the, my new uh, Audio Technica uh, lavalier microphone, uh, the ATR3350IS, uh, to work with my MacBook Pro. This is a uh, early 2015 MacBook Pro. We call it the about this Mac, and you can see it's um, early 2015, 13-inch Retina model. And yes, it is displaying on the screen. Okay, great. Um, so the first thing that we got was this nice uh, uh, lavalier mic from Audio Technica. Uh, it's the S, the IS model, which along with the the standard microphone here um, comes with this special splitter which is um, needed for the uh, TRRS connector. It's the, uh, it's the connector with the uh, four uh, conductors here on the, uh, on the tip uh, to the base. Um, and there's a single input jack, a single 1 8 inch uh, input jack on the MacBook. It's labeled as a headphone um, jack on the side, but it actually is claimed that a standard Apple um, uh, iPhone uh, headset with microphone can work with the MacBook. And what I wanted to demonstrate was first of all, if you'll notice, I have here open on the screen the sound uh, preferences panel. I have it selected to the input tab, and then uh, over here, uh, it, you'll notice it says internal microphone, and the type is built in. So you can even see the bars moving across the bottom here as I'm speaking and recording. I'm doing the recording here on my phone, and I wanted to demonstrate that when the Apple uh, headset, the earbuds, is plugged in, you'll notice that this uh, display has changed. It is now listed as an external microphone through microphone port. And this is the, so thus it would be, if you were talking, it would be picking up the signal through the Apple microphone port, which is fine. This is to be expected. So I take that out. I now have my lavalier microphone. Here's the, uh, here's the microphone part that's connected with the uh, foam windscreen on it. It terminates into a, uh, into a dual mono uh, tip that needs to be connected to the splitter, which we'll do. The splitter has two connections, one for the headphone, one for the microphone, and then I will be plugging now this into the Mac, as one would expect. So I plug it in, and you'll notice on screen nothing has changed. It still is saying input internal microphone type built in. And uh, even though the bars are moving, that's because it's still listening to the audio through the MacBook. So this was frustrating, went online, uh, looked for several different places to explain what's going on and didn't really um, receive any good feedback. The, the uh, recommendation was from some places that no, this won't work. Um, you need a line input and that doesn't uh, this, this mic doesn't put out a line input or it, it, it's only a microphone input now. It's a lot of different um, explanations as to what's going wrong and uh, the recommendation to buy the USB adapter. So instead though, what I discovered by playing around with some different operations, I'm going to take my Apple, so this is my Apple branded earbuds, I'm going to plug this into the headset portion of the splitter. So if you bought this uh, Audio Technica uh, lav uh, mic with the uh, splitter option, you'll have this device. Chances are you might have an, an, an Apple um, uh, iPod or rather iPhone type headset. So I've plugged this into the headset portion. And now I'm going to plug the splitter into the Mac. So watch on the screen here as I do this. Curiously enough, the electronics um, uh, recognition here of the Mac going into this, it's actually switched now over to external microphone, microphone port. At this point, what you can do is you can take your lav mic, and as you would have used it normally, you can plug it into the microphone portion. And I'll start by having, so the lav mic is off at the moment here, and I'm just going to tap on, you'll see the bars are no longer moving as I'm speaking right now, so clearly the signal is not coming in through the built-in of the Mac. So I'm just going to like tap a little bit on the microphone and you'll see there's no action at the moment. I'm going to switch it on. We see a little spike there and on and actually as I'm talking right now it's picking it's picking it up. As I tap on it, you can see that it's catching the input level as I'm talking. I bring it closer to my mouth 
and see it goes up. So this is a way you can actually get the lav mic working on your MacBook Pro, at least my model. This is a, this is a, um, a technique that has worked for me in order to connect it. So just to review, if you pull it out, if, also if you unplug it, it returns to built-in. If you were to take the, the multi-connected item here, your Apple headset um, and the lav mic plugged into the splitter, if you were to plug the splitter back in, curiously, it will not change. So, so indeed, the, the, the process that I've discovered is start with the splitter with only the, the Apple um, earbuds plugged into the headphone. Then you insert into the Mac. If you had the sound options open here, you could confirm with this display. It's now an external microphone. And now plugging in the lav mic. And we see a little activity as, as I clicked it in, but now it is working and it would operate as expected. So I wanted to share this if other people are running into this problem. Thanks very much.